Hello everyone, today we'll be doing an experiment on osmosis in plants. Osmosis is one of those processes that we give as evidence to say that matter is made up of tiny particles and these tiny particles, they're called atoms. So how can I use granulated sugar, watermelon slices, papaya slices and cucumber slices to prove that these tiny particles called atoms exist? Let's go ahead and explore together. Have fun! It has now been 35 minutes since I added the granulated sugar to the surface of the vegetable and fruits. Let us take a closer look and see what has happened. What we can see now is that the granulated sugar has dissolved and we see some liquid on top of the cucumber right there and surrounding the size of watermelon we do see some liquid right there and also this watermelon the surface of the papaya they're moist too so what has caused this to happen this is caused by the process of osmosis osmosis is a movement of water molecules from an area of high water molecule concentration to an area of low water molecule concentration across a semipermeable membrane until evenly distributed. In this case, the semipermeable membrane was a plant cell membrane. The area of high water molecule concentration was inside of the plant cells. The sucrose, which is a granulated sugar that was actually placed on, on the surface of the fruits and vegetable caused water molecules to move out of the plant cells and it dissolved the sucrose and formed a highly concentrated solution that causes even more water molecules now to move out of the cells. That is why you do have that liquid accumulating around the melon right there. And also on the surface of the cucumber. So this is no evidence to prove that matter is made up of tiny particles. And even though we can see the individual water molecules, but we do know that the solid granulated sugar, that white solid right there, it broke apart into tiny pieces that we can no longer see when it was placed on the surface of the fruits and vegetable. So matter is made up of these tiny particles called atoms and they move They're in constant motion so osmosis is just an evidence that we give to say that matter is made up of tiny particles and these tiny particles are called atoms so this is just a simple experiment demonstrating osmosis in living things and uh, you can easily do it at home. Just go in the fridge right now, get slices of vegetables and fruits, and do this by yourself. So you've been learning science with Mrs. C. Williams Massey. See you for the next video.